sound vision entertainment with vision celebration of past and present icons lay your own legacy it's our vision again and your wonderful segment icon i welcome you my name is yabodi onoseya i will be your host today and with me on the program today i have an intelligent man a hard working and a great achiever prince doctor akin today i am you're welcome sir yeah thank you all right, before we move further on the program, I want you to reintroduce yourself because it's always good to hear from the horse's mouth. Well, thank you. Um, my name is Akitunde Ishola Ayeni. I'm popularly called uh, Pathfinder. And uh, I'm the founder of Yemkem International Group. That is from Yemkem International. When you talk of Yemkem International Group, talk of Yemke International with this on the Yaba medicine. Then you talk of the Yabi concepts. So Yabi concept is on health products. Then uh, we have the copper gym. That is the, the marketing uh, outfit that uh, deals on the marketing of our products. Then we have the Pathfinder Hotel uh, and holiday. So that's comprised of the Yemke group. Yeah. So who is really Dr. Akintunde Ayemi? I'm a Nigerian, but I'm from Ikiti land. I'm from Oyekiti, but I was born in the Badon, in the early 90s, in the early 60s. Okay, what's your educational background like? Well, um, my educational background started from the Badon. I went to St. Patrick Primary School, okay, part. Then later, I went to I Grammar School, Odinjo, Ibadan. Then later, I moved to Akure. That was for a year for a working experience. And then later, I had an admission to Federal School of Fisheries under the Nigeria Institute for Oceanography and Marine Research, where I studied fishery science. So that was my educational background. So, what was your growing up? Well, <clears throat> my, my childhood day was very, very tense in the sense that my father is a very highly disciplinary person, highly disciplined person. Even when I was in primary school, maybe in the, I'm talking of the year in the 70s, at times you have to go to school without no, no slippers. You have to go with your barefoot, no shoe, no slippers. Even I could remember, I was even some days ago, I was discussing with my wife when one of my children, one of my children was messing up. I said, during my own life, I mean, during my time, when they prepare a bar for you, they will just put a, a lie on top of it and you have to take it like yeah, that. No <laughs> stool, no. In fact, I, to be sincere, I think when I passed from, you know, from, from four to five, so my father was very happy. Then she now said that they should put one meat to serve my meal. And that was, that was the first time I'm going to eat with meal. And that was 19, I think it should be 1979. So that is the kind of discipline that have been called into our attitude. You know, it's, it's an, uh, and it's actually ebbed. Every day, including Sunday, 5 a.m., you have to wake up. Otherwise, my father is going to be head out of you. 5 a.m. You, you, you have to wake up. You have to go and trek like almost one mile to go and fetch water down to the house. And uh, maybe by 7 a.m. You have to, I mean, by 7 a.m. You have to dress up to go to, your, to, 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 to go to school. By 8 a.m. You have to be in the school. So that's the kind of uh, discipline. And when you come back from the school, because my father is a renowned traditional doctor and he used to attend to a lot of patients. It makes me to be more hardworking to whatever that I'm doing today. That is why even most of my staffs, at times when they say that I'm too tough, I say I'm not tough but I'm disciplined. Because if you are a lazy person, you can't work with me. Because that is the way I was trained. You understand? 
So it was uh, it was very tense. All right, before I, I want you to tell us more about Yemkem, as in Yemkem as a whole, the journey so far, how you started Yemkem. Yeah, yeah. Well, before Yemkem, I think the name people knew very well before was Alafia Tayo. Was Alafia Tayo was transformed to Yemkem International. You see, my father is like what like what I said that my father is a renowned traditional doctor. I was born into the family of Abba Pratics because my father, apart, beside, apart from my father being an Abba practitioner, my great grandfather was a very, very powerful hunter. And uh, when he wanted to die, according to the story, I think he has about eight wives. He has about eight wives and has so many children. But it's only my father that he ordained to be a, a traditional Abba practitioner. And uh, you see, my knowledge of herbal medicine was through my father. Because I was born into it. My father is somebody that when he's doing something, he will call all of you to come and be working with him. Right from the age of one to two to three. So even up to the, to the day I finished my secondary school. So I was interested. The way he practiced the medicine, I used to ask him some questions. Then there is no day one or two persons that will not come and give my father something as an appreciation. There are a lot of aliens in the traditional medicine. So, and uh, I really, I did a lot of research about traditional medicine, most especially the alien part of it. And uh, it was 1989 that Alafia Atai was formed. That was the year I went to the International Trade Fair. The, the last day of the International Trade Fair, the following day was the beginning of the NT-77 trade, uh, trade, I mean, traditional medicine trade fair. I went there, so I showcased my product, and the NTA interviewed me, they showed the program that very day on, in the night. So people that find it very difficult to locate me at the International Trade Fair were able to Traced me down to the NTA 7. I think that was the beginning of my fame. It was like a crusade. So it was after the traditional medicine trade fair that we now organize it, you know, a television program. They call Alafia Tayo by Agileye. It was a drama presentation. So, and uh, that really gave me a lot of fame. I did, I did a lot of programs to educate our people, to enlighten our people towards our own traditional medicine and because of that i have to travel to some countries to see the way they practice their traditional medicine then i have to travel to japan i travel to china i travel to india that was 1995 to 1996 so i was able to acquire some certain knowledge after my after the journey when i got back to nigeria i decided to, to transform what I discovered, what I saw in those countries, to put it in place. And that was the beginning of having our, uh, having our, uh, the other medicine in capsules. So then, if I'm to travel to other countries to showcase my product, I need a name that will be sendable to people. I need a name that be more, you know that will sound modern, so that is the reason why we decided to change the name from Alafia Tayo to Yemkem, so that the Yemkem International is more sensible, it looks more international, so that anywhere in the world you can go and showcase your products and say, well, this is Yemkem products, that to say this is Alafia Tayo products here, yes. So that would be, so that's actually what makes you know the you know transformation of Yemkem. I mean, I'll have to to Yemkem International. So that is exactly what happened. Do you mean, talking about herbal practitioner, mm. what we come to people's mind first is native doctor. Mm. And what you will hear them say is, is fetish, like what you said mm. earlier. So can you tell us the importance of herbs in mm. the society so that people will know that it is not all about being fetish? Yeah, you see, it is, you see, people call People call a dog a bad name just to hang it. You see, the, the importance of herbs 
cannot be overemphasized. There are a lot of numerous benefits, you know, you can get from herbs. You see, I've said it that other practitioner is all over. It's a universal. Then, because of our forefathers, the way they established the traditional medicine, because of their exposure, because of their illiteracy mentality, people has people believe that they are wicked people. Why? Because of the way they dressed. The environment where they practice the medicine, I mean the, 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 the profession, you understand? So people believe that ah, they don't know any good uh, medicine that to kill. No. You see, let me tell you, let me, you see, fine, I'm not disputing the fact that there are a lot of people that are very wicked in their practitioners. But yet, we have a lot of healers. There are a lot of healing properties in herbs. We are able to change the packaging. We are able to transform the curative traditional medicine to the international standard. That is what the Gentleman International is doing. And that is why we call us the Pathfinder. Because we started, we are the first herbal company in Nigeria to, have into, you know, to introduce herbal medicine into capsules. And that is why the World Health Organization, the WHO now, said that in the old world especially in africa and where they have tropical forests they have what you call organic herbs organic herbs in the sense that herb that is very organic that is has no chemicals unlike in olden days that they don't use fertilizers to grow their herbs they go to the farm they go to the forest to look for a particular herb they are looking for it's because nigeria will still have a long way to go and i've said this in most of my program that Nigeria can realize more than 50 billion US dollars annually from other mixing. For example, now in China, the China realized nothing less than 250 billion US dollars annually from their traditional medicine from other countries, not within their country. I think you mean. From exportation. But because we have believed so much in the oil, because the whole world is full of diseases. The world is full of sicknesses. At times, if you have a constipation now, somebody can tell you that, okay, why can't you try to eat purple? Eat purple and vegetables. Without taking any medication, if you eat purple and vegetables, you will see that you go to the toilet normally, you have free bowels, and things, and that the kind of the gas that makes you to have constipation in the stomach will subside. Okay, before people accept herbal medicine, you know, you try to convince them to know the importance of herbal medicine. Mm. What are the challenges you see before people now accept herbal medicine? You see, first of all, is the transformation. You see, that transformation of modernizing of the herbal medicine to a modern medicine. And seven years ago, when we introduced herbal medicine into Blister Park, we, mix, we, we launched nine products. The director of NABDAC, the deputy director of NABDAC, the woman came to represent the DG of NABDAC. A lot of big literacy in this country, they came to, to witness the occasion. Nine other products was launched into Blister Park. That is, they were in sachets. You see, Nigeria is so funny to me that this is a country where we don't embrace our own good. We don't embrace our own products. We value foreign products. Whereas most of these foreign products, they are not as effective as our home products. Alright, getting to know more about Dr. Akintunde Aye. Mm -hmm. Okay, what kind of music do you listen to at your leisure? I do listen to Aye Lomogura music. And uh, I will delete I will not show that. And uh, so those are the music at times I listen to and uh, maybe Ayifele and you can you feel that is most of the time. Okay. Yeah. Sound vision, entertainment with vision. So, in what quarter do you think you have contributed to the society with herbal medicine? Well, I've contributed a lot, a lot. I've said it that it, my the my years of experience in the herbal medicine is over thirty years, and I've contributed a lot to the healthcare delivery system of this nation. In terms of sick people, a lot. In terms of people that are very that are sick, 
that have used my products, millions, I can't say thousands, millions of Nigerians have used my product and they have given testimony to it and they are still using it today. So I've contributed a lot to the growth of the healthcare delivery system in this country in terms of, in terms of my product. Sound vision, entertainment with vision.